So that means there's tension on there, okay? Okay. So you want to raise it up until you're able to shake that bar, meaning that the tension is off, okay? When you get home, I would suggest getting a chunk of wood or something underneath here. It makes it a lot easier. You see how now that bar is able to move? Mm -hmm. That means the tension is off, okay? So then in that instance, you guys are safe to take it off and remove it. Now, I haven't heard of this happening. I haven't seen it happen, but I'm real big on safety. Whenever dealing with this, I like to stay out of the swing radius, okay? This is solid steel. If this catches you, it'll take your kneecap out and never be the same, all right, bud? Mm-hmm. All right. First things first, when you guys are at home, you're gonna back up your truck, bring this down onto the ball, lock it in. Once you're locked in, I want you to raise this back up, okay? Mm-hmm. Once you raise it up, you're gonna take the arm, pop it in. To release the arm, the arm has to be in this direction, okay? It has a pull tab over here. You pull the tab, it slides out. To go in, locks in, okay? Once you raise it up, swing the bar over, right onto here. Now, if you guys didn't have a block under there and it was super tight, this is what this tool is for, to help you pop it up there, okay? Okay. With the block underneath, it makes it easy. I'm a real small dude, I could do this. No problem. Without the block, it'll make it a lot more difficult. Okay? okay. Once you go ahead and you got both your bars in, you're gonna put your pins in. Always face your pin in this direction. If you face it the other direction, super small chance a rock hits it, knocks it out, whole thing comes disassembled, okay? Okay. Got your pin in on this side, same thing on the other side. Once you got both your arms pinned in, you're good to go. Go ahead and raise this all the way up. You always want to raise your leg as high as you can. Leaving certain parking lots, especially our parking lot, if that ain't high enough, you'll bottom out, bend that leg. The shack is like two, three hundred bucks. Okay. Once you got your leg all lifted up, got your safety chains, okay? Mm -hmm. With your safety chains, you always want to cross them into an X, okay? And the reason why you want to cross them into an X and God forbid if your trailer and this comes separated, hopefully it falls on the X and it holds it up so it doesn't hit the floor and start doing backflips on you, okay? Okay. Next thing you got here, this red wire is called your breakaway cable. All right? Yeah. This cable also links up over here. Now the purpose of this cable is in case your unit and your truck gets separated from each other, it will pull this and activate the brake so this does not roll downhill on you. Okay. Okay? Outside of that, make sure you two safety chains are locked in real good. Make sure you got your lock pin. Now, if I was you, buddy, you should look into getting one of these pins that have the key on it. Mm -hmm. So let's just say you guys shot this at the RV park. You guys want to go to Walmart. Somebody just can't walk by, pull this pin and steal the, your end hitch, okay? Mm -hmm. You get the little lock pin, I think it's like $10, you know? Mm -hmm. um, second option is every time you guys do leave this at the park, you will have to remove this and put it in the truck. Do keep in mind, on the top of this ball and on the top of both of these arms, I did put grease, okay? So make sure you guys don't put it inside your truck and lay it on your carpet because it will get dirty. Okay. All right? Outside of that, once you guys are done hooking up here, the last thing you would do would be your seven way. Now, when connecting your seven way, you want to make sure you have enough to where it's not gonna pull out whenever you guys make a turn, okay? But you also don't want too much to where it's dragging on the floor, okay? okay. You got any questions about your setup right here? Um, so do I gotta grease these? No, um, the grease on here and the grease on the two arms mm -hmm. should be good, 
Okay. okay. Now, if at some point, you know, you wind up wiping off the grease, you can always add extra grease. I just like to add grease on these three points because they're friction points. So the grease makes it go a little bit easier, you know? Okay. All right. Um, oh, one more important thing. Um, I did not find an instruction manual with this, okay? The owner's manual. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of these hitches. Inside the owner's manual, I do not remember the specific number, but you may have to look it up online. There is a certain amount of maintenance you have to do with this, okay? okay. Do not quote me, but from what I remember is something to the effect of every 3,000 miles, you have to like retorque re certain bolts and stuff like that, okay? Okay. Um, another big thing with this is you could back up with this setup. You mm -hmm. have to back up straight. If you back up making turns, it will bend up your bars and will cause you issues over time, all right? So how do you back up at an angle? Um, I do not know. I never drove one of these personally. Oh, wait. It swivels on the ball, no? It swivels on the ball, yes. But these ain't meant for super hard turns, okay? You'll tear up these little L-shaped brackets making hard turns in reverse. But, I mean, if I were to pull in here right here, there's no way I could back it in? I do not know. You will have to look that up on your own. Like I said, I never drove these. I just know, to my knowledge, these are not supposed to be backed up and turned hard because it will tear up these brackets. I just had a guy last week who came in, he had one for under a year, and his these little L-shaped bars were all bent to crap. And the reason why was because he was making hard turns and reversing all the time with it, and it tore him up. You can look more into that. That's just the knowledge that I have as of right now. So how do I turn going forward? Turn it's going the same forward, thing. It's not an issue. From my knowledge, what I was told was going in reverse, you're not supposed to drive this in reverse with these bars on it making hard turns okay you could look that information up yourself on their website the road, road master website and double check that but like i said to my knowledge you are not supposed to make hard turns going in reverse okay okay um outside of that um you want me to show you how to operate that brake control real quick uh yeah let me stop